Okay, uh, this is a um, quick demo on how to uh, transfer your backup flash drive desktop. Uh, we have to go to the uh, control panel. Click all control panel items, then uh, look for file explorer options. Actually, you can also search this. Uh, then we go to um, File Explorer Options. Then we have to be looking at uh, Hidden Files and Folder. Make sure that it's on Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Okay. Click OK. Then we um, go to. This is the important part that you are looking for the um, user app data so you must be in your user uh, path then look for app data then local this is the folder that we unhid earlier then we look for uh, live scribe okay here it is then this is what the folder that we need to copy just copy it don't make any changes because it would corrupt the folder because this is the old, already the data folder then looks look for a um, place where we can save it um, we can choose to save it in the thumb drive doesn't matter uh, for me let's uh, go to uh, here I'll just save it here you know, depending on your uh, data folder, it could take a bit, of maybe a few a few minutes if it's a big um, a file. You know, especially if you've been using your Echo Desktop for you know five years, for example, uh, it could take some time. You know, I haven't been um, using mine lately, so I don't have a lot of files, but uh, as you can see, it's still around uh, maybe 300 MB or maybe more. Anyway, um, that's done. Then we would need to go to um, um, the app data again local then uh, this is the last scribe data folder let's try to uh, rename this uh, I'll delete it later and uh, show you something but for now let's rename it because um, in, it's important to note that echo desktop only reads the folder that has live scribe uh, in it you know so if it's a different name or you renamed it it won't work There you go. Um, I'll put uh, the backup. I'll copy the backup and uh, put it there. Uh, same file path. Local. Just paste it here. I'm sorry. I might, mine was about two gigabytes. So. It, it, it's not uh, 500 MB. Uh, look at that. Okay, we're almost done here. Then we would need to proceed to. Let's open Echo Desktop. Let's first look at the files if they're there. Okay, so everything is here, uh, as expected. Um, but um, let's try to delete all the data folders, the old data folders and the new data folders. Just want to show you. Um, uh, uh, yeah, 
we need to close the uh, echo desktop first. I'll try it again. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna delete the new um, um, the new folder. I think I already deleted the uh, the old folder too. Okay, there you go. Then let's open echo desktop. It should be uh, empty. Okay, there you go. It's uh, it's lonely on on here. <laughs> so let's put the uh, data folder back and and in the file pad uh, that I showed you earlier. Uh, okay. Um, okay, same file pad, username, app data, local. I just pasted uh, the backup um, that we created earlier. there um, yeah we can go ahead and replace the files and destinations this should be the residual files from the uh, previous install so it should be fine okay so the, the folder is back so let's open that desktop and uh, There you go. Uh, there you go. Everything's back. Uh, and uh, okay, I think uh, everything's there, including my um, archive notebooks. So I hope it helps.